All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Akeem, and welcome to today's vlogs. Gonna start off with my Big 12 previews for the 2017 college football season, starting things off with the Baylor Bears. Last season, the team went 7-6, and six, but they had a lot of off-the-field issues, particularly with that sex scandal that they had to deal with, with, with many players, including Sean Oakman, who was a All-Big 12 performer, and they actually had to get rid of their head coach in Art Biles, and they have a new crew headed by Matt Rowe, the um, offensive, the uh, coach coming out of the Temple. The Temple Alice is actually coming off of an American Athletic Conference Championship led by uh, Coach Matt. And I think this is a great coach to pick up and try to build the Bears back and just rebound from what they had suffered last season. Now, last year, they did finish off the season with a Cactus Bowl victory over the Boise uh, State Broncos and ended their season off 7-6. and six. And they're looking to try to get at least um, two more wins and, and entering this season. But this, this is going to be a tough break because of the sex scandal that they had last season a lot of players including quarterback Jared um said him actually stopped um stepped down decided to um to transfer and seven national um high school players actually decided to um cancel their um, letters of intent and not join Baylor because of the situation so uh coach Matt Rule Rolle is going to actually um have to step it up in the recruiting process just the recruiting process in order for things to uh get back together now, he did bring in uh, Phil uh, Snow, the defensive coordinator from Temple, which was a great pickup. They have a great chemistry together, already have a great coaching relationship. Now, um, last season, this was an awkward year because they actually started off their season with six straight wins, and then they lost six straight to go 6-6 six and six and make it to the Cactus Bowl. They ended up, that was actually an interesting season. But their defense was one of the biggest weaknesses. They gave up a lot of points, gave up 35 against my Longhorns, 62 against TCU. 45 against OU and 54 against Texas Tech. So the defense is actually most at fault compared to the, to the two units offensively and defensively. Now this season they're actually going to be have the comeback of uh, Zach Smith who um who should be leading off in week one. He had 1,500 yards passing last season, 15 touchdowns to seven interceptions. But they do have great news as far as a good transfer, a new Solomon coming out of Arizona. Now he actually started off his career off great with um, his his freshman season but then due to injuries he just started think things just go went downhill for him at Arizona and decided to um have his final year of eligibility I believe uh, with the Baylor Bears now, sticking in the offensive unit, they do have the return of a thousand-yard rusher in Terrence Williams. That is a good thing. But they no longer have their top wideout in Katie Cannon, as well as uh, Ishmael uh, Zamara. So, uh, redshirt for junior uh, Chris Pratt, um, uh, Blake uh, Lyons, as well as Pooh uh, Strickland is going to have to uh, step it up. Particularly Chris Pratt, he had 567 yards receiving last season. He should be the number one target. Now, as far as the uh, offensive linemen, they do have a couple of returning players, Maurice. Porter, who's a senior, uh, Blake, uh, 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 Blake Blackmore, who is a redshirt junior, they do have some good as far as uh, maturity in the um, offensive line. Ishmael w uh, Wilson, who is a senior and uh, and a junior, and Patrick Lawrence, so they do have some good like maturity and good experience in the offensive line. Now headed over to the defensive unit, they lost a lot of their top players, and as mentioned, the defense was pretty. They pretty much sucked. Like, they they just sucked last season. Even though they did have some good talent with Travion Blackshirt, Blackshirt, Orion Stewart, Patrick uh, Levels, Ryan um, Reed. They're actually, I believe, they're um, no longer on the team. Um, so if you look at the defensive line, they do have the return of KJ Smith, who did lead the team with seven sacks, and Xavier Jones. Now, as far as the linebacking core, they do have the return of, I believe, leading tackler and Taylor Young, who had 93 tackles uh, last season, and Clay Johnston and Leroy uh, Jones, as, as far as the linebacking core. And the best defensive back who is returning is uh, Devion Hall. Now, it's time to take a look at their schedule. It's a little bit of a tough one in Big 12 play. Um, first off, in their first game, it's a good warm-up, uh, uh, September 16th at Duke. That should be an interesting matchup. September 23rd against OU. I believe that could be a loss. October 14th against OK State. Um, October 21st against West Virginia. They actually play against Mine Longhorns on the 28th. November the 11th at, um, against Texas Tech and on November 24th at TCU. And I've mentioned before, Texas Tech, Texas 
Texas OU. They put up a lot of points against this team. So the defensive unit and Phil Snow, he's going to have to do a lot of work just to get things around defensively. I think their offense will be just okay, but it's really the defense is really going to be the big key and the question mark for the Bears this season. Now, taking a look at their schedule, I'm actually going to actually give them a 7-5 and five record um, in the regular season. Hopefully, they pull off the 8th victory in the bowl matchup. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have five more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.